Love and money are key components of happiness. And just as you should date around for love, you need to treat finding your financial guru the same way. And yes, even if you're broke, you need this hookup if you ever hope to retire. All right, so what if I'm broke? Hypothetically. I know. This is I know. purely hypothetical, Nancy. Mm -hmm. If I'm broke, should I still get financial advice? Especially if you're broke. <laughs> so here are the steps to take before you swipe right on your financial partner. For starters, get in the game. What's a good first baby step, right? I mean, nobody dives into the deep end of the pool, right? And no. this is a hopefully long-term relationship. Yeah. The most important factor is trust. I mean, just ask Bernie Madoff's clients, right? You've got, <laughs> you, you've got to focus on trust and verify. So what are the differences between a financial advisor, a financial consultant, a money manager? I hear all these terms and I get very confused. Yeah, so a financial advisor is usually licensed. They usually work for a brokerage firm like Charles Schwab or Merrill Lynch, and they are licensed to sell security so they will probably charge you a fee and they make money on everything they sell sell you so that's something to be aware of because fees are the biggest eroder of total return a financial consultant usually starts with financial planning and so they base it around financial plan and then they make recommendations they too often get fees off of everything and then a money manager an investment manager that's actually what I do we charge one flat fee and we do everything for you. We pick all the stocks and the different strategies that you're going to employ. Next, get to know the right person by asking the right questions. And the first thing I ask is, what, is, what are the fees? Mm -hmm. And then the second thing I ask is, tell me about your strategy. How do you invest? What can I expect? Because if somebody's taking a lot of risk and I'm risk averse, that's not the right match for me. Does it matter how your financial person makes his or her money? Yes. So if you have a financial advisor that is incented to move you from security to security because they get paid each time they do that, it's not good. Finally, it's time to commit. So that's why we do the kind of dating around and getting to know you phases of the relationship because once you make the commitment, you don't want to move around a lot. Are you proposing to me? Yes. <laughs> Nancy, will you take care of my money? So here's the thing. How do you turn a large fortune into a small one? I don't know. You get divorced. Oh. So think about the same thing with your money manager. You want to be you want to be pretty sure because once you move it, it's like a divorce. It costs money. Remember, be as careful with your nest egg as you are with your heart. So, Nancy, the bottom line, any time is the right time, any income bracket, right? Yep. Uh, yes. Yes and yes. So just get started. Just get started and you get started. Popping the question on your financial life partner. Oh, thank you so much. And your advisor should always get the bill. Works for me. At the top of the list.